back to my channel uh, for returning people. Thank you. If you're new, uh, this is Colorado Springs Small Engine Repair, and we fix small engines. And if you watched my last video, you'll see that a customer dropped off this Greenworks uh, lawnmower, and the camera is sitting on a Greenworks pressure washer. So in this episode, we're going to work on these. Uh, this one needs to get the blade sharpened and the cable. Something's going on. So we gotta figure out what's going on with that. If the cable needs to be replaced. And then pressure washer just is not kicking on. So should be a fun little uh, episode and some fun work. We'll see what we can figure out. So you can see you push this button and then pull this back and the cable is it's just not moving. So I don't know if it's caught somewhere or something else on the on the line is is messed up. But they kind of twist tied this thing on here. So let's take that off. Interesting. So this will move, but unless you push this, then it does. Then it moves the bottom half of the cable. Huh. Seems to be working. I don't know. Let's put a battery in it and see what happens. Make sure these are charged. You got these little tests on them. All right, four bars. This one, four bars. And nothing's happening. So something's got to be wrong. All right, we'll see if the distance that it gets pulled is causing the problem. Yeah, so it's the... So it's like the... the either the cable got stretched over time and then it just it can't pull it tight enough or maybe there's just an adjustment in there let's let's start there and see what we figure out it's like a star bit I don't think my other wrenches are gonna fit but I have this other little tool that has a bunch of star bits on it a T T20. So you're gonna need a T20 to take this thing off. Don't lose your screws. I use a magnetic tray to keep track of everything.
from now on come out. Okay, well, let's take a look. So all it's doing is that gets clamped. So that's a, you push the button, it clamps it down. That gets pulled. Got this little retaining piece that has to sit right here. An extra set of hands. All right. So really, the top from here to here, there's really there's no adjustment. That spring just sits in there. Retainer sits there. So I would say this is not the problem here. It's this cable. Because this can only travel so far. And this is hooked on there. This hooks. And this can only travel so far. Can't really do it without the plastic holding it in. But. be able to pull this guy and it should come on all right I did some modifying off camera this little bracket right here was more straight up and down I bent it back so that when we pull this back of course, pulls the cable forward more, and it works. You can see I'm using vice grips to hold that on. But this is how they get you. They, they give you these cheap cables. There's no adjustment in them. For example, these cables right here, totally different machine, but same concept is you have these nuts on here. You got two, so it could go like right there. But with that adjustment, you can tighten and loosen these and move them along this and that will change your cable tightness so over time when this cable does stretch you have adjustment in it now eventually at some point you get to the point where it'll be fully adjusted and you you won't have any more adjustment you'd have to replace this but this cable there's zero adjustment so I made my own adjustment and bent it so let's put the cover back on and uh, I think she'll work
saved me all the hassle of taking all of that off and trying to get in there. All right, let's uh, look at the blade. I'm used to one big blade on a lawnmower. These guys are, what, nine and a half inches long? Yeah, about nine and a half. Um, they're, they're not too bad. They're, I mean, there's, so you could see a few spots that hit a rock. But I think we should be able to put a new edge on them and put them back on. wrench will not take that off um, I put some PB blaster on it still want to come off I'm just gonna take a file do this one this way all right using a file to uh, sharpen a blade why it's still on the mower not ideal but it's I it's something's gonna break if I hit that impact ridge on it anymore so just file. I just filed it on there heck you might only have a file at your house um, you don't have a grinder um, and a file is a perfect way to sharpen a blade as well you just got to keep the angle that that came from the factory the same and just file it and get a nice little new sharp edge on there so yeah all right well the lawnmower is done there's nothing else to service no oil no spark plugs batteries look good so let's uh move on to the pressure washer all right i lied we're gonna wrap this video up. This little pressure right here, no pressure washer. Catch it in the the next episode. Uh, I got other work to do and video editing and all that jazz. So thanks for watching. Um, hope this provides some uh, value to you. If so, give it a like and please consider subscribing. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.